Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. I'm on the Mississippi River at a place called Under the Hill. Now the river crested yesterday, but it is still high and flowing really fast. It is still at 57.5. That's what it crested at. And I want to fish it. You see this current? Look at this. Just look at this. Right even up at the bank. It is moving really, really fast. Really, really fast over here. So I've been down here before and tried fishing this different ways and it was two times and they both failed. It is really, really strong. So I brought out the big muscle tonight, this afternoon. It is just after 5.30. Let me show you what I'm doing to try and conquer this situation and get a nice cat out of here. First of all, I've brought out a 12 foot ugly stick with 80 pound braid on it. When I was out here previously trying to fish this, I was throwing four ounce lead and it was moving it like nothing. The biggest lead I have is eight. So I've tied up four rigs with eight ounce lead and I'm going pretty big. My lead line is 20 ounce, I mean 20 pound test, three way swivel. The hook link or the leader, if you will, is 50 pound mono. It's on there with a cow hitch surgeon's loop and then we've snelled up a eight aught octopus circle hook by team catfish we're gonna throw big baits tonight let's see if it moves this eight because it was moving the fours like nothing here's my bait all cut and ready to go as you see I've trimmed the fins off but just to the top of the skin all right so we're gonna take our hook and we're gonna go in about a half inch from the top. Get the scale off the tip and there you go. This was previously frozen but it was caught just the other day. Big bait, big fish. Hopefully, hopefully. Now it's been a while since I've thrown eight ounce lead. I think it was 2011 when the river was super high and it was strong right off the, uh, the levee there at the end of the world in New Orleans. Not bad, not bad, not bad. It's not like I threw it out there a football field links, but it's out there and it's moving. It's moving like crazy. It's moving with me as I walk. Whoa, that river is strong. It's taking line. Look at the bend in this rod. When is it going to relax and stop? I can't believe it's moving eights like this. Let's see if we can get this in. All right, that first cast didn't go so well. It just kept moving and moving and I never felt the bottom. So let's try a shorter cast. It seems to calm down right there if you want to call that calm down and calming down. That's a little better. We use these uh, barricades as bank sticks. Okay, what I know about this spot is that there's a road here, water's on it, and right here in the middle here is a boat ramp, usually river boats dock right here but they haven't been lately because it's the river's so high i've tried fishing this didn't make a video because nothing good happened but it is very snaggy hopefully i'm far out above the snags and when i come in i'll have to come high in the water column i'm not sure what's out there there might be a a, a concrete railing thing at, around the boat ramp but i don't think i'm near it there's rocks there's brush there's 
trees and stuff logs obviously but who knows what's down there hopefully there's a big fish down there the current is bouncing my line it's not a bite it's bouncing my rod tip hopefully something good comes from this I only have four eight ounce leads and I've already lost one so I've got three left well one's out there and two are in the bag this rod tip is still bouncing gently up and down currents either on the line or the lead is somewhere hanging off of something Like I said, it's snaggy where I'm at. More so at a tighter angle, more parallel to the bank here. Because of that boat ramp that's there. When I retrieve this in a little bit, I'll just have to keep it high in the column because my worst snags seem to be closer into the levee here. About from the, about 20 feet out seems to be pretty snaggy. But if you stay high in the water column, you can come right over it. It's like brush and rocks and who knows what. Waiting game. This is a waiting game. So now this bait has been out for around 40 minutes. It's had an interesting tap, like a line bite. I'm really itching to see if I can get it in and check the bait because it is in turbulent water. I want to know if that bait is still there and place it in a different place because I haven't had a serious bite yet. Like I said, it's a waiting game. Let's see if I can get this in. Oh, no. I'm snagged pretty good. I just snapped the line. I had to use my landing net to do that. I got some tackle back. No lead, no hook, no bait. Just the three-way swivel and the leader. Let's do this again. As I watch this beautiful sunset, all I have to report is I have not had a bite at all yet. I'm going to stay here for a while longer. Pretty soon I'll have you on the chesty with my powerful headlamp on. And we will see what happens into dark. I got you back into my bosom right now. As you can see, this sunset is just getting better and better, but the fishing is not. I think we have a slim chance of catching something where this current has our bait oriented right now. I'm not sure how deep the water is, but I'm going to venture and say that it's not extremely deep. The current has pushed us almost parallel to the bank here but we're still a slight angle away from it basically you see this tree out in the water right here see the tree where my hand is right here i think our bait is pretty much in line with that if not a little out in front of it but not all that way over there more so you see the little light right here somewhere out that way basically somewhere around this boat ramp maybe just past it don't think it's too deep there we've had a couple of shutters on the line a couple of maybe line bites something running into the line but nothing big we'll just have to wait it out see what happens nice sunset so i'm gonna post this anyway just wanted to give you an idea of what it's like to fish the river at 57.5 right now that's it's where it's cresting at and it's going to drop throughout the week a little bit it needs to get down below 48 48 is when it's in flood stage so if it goes down below 48 feet it should be more fishable right now it's just not 
my best bet is to go back to uh, backwaters, flooded backwaters. So yeah, nothing came up tonight, not even a bite. The baits weren't even tore up, lost some tackle. Oh, it's just frustrating, but oh, I just wanted to tackle that strong water and it didn't happen for me and I'm pissed now, but whatever. See you next time.